All right, do this again. Yeah. You challenge my every decision. So. It is as if you seek to lead the Huns yourself. Why don't you be too slow and go to attack? I'm trying to build stuff up. Very well. The Iron Boar lairs near here. Let the one who kills this mighty beast lead our people. This way, Attila. Follow. Brother will lead us to ruin. Perhaps he should not return from his boar hunt. Accidents can happen. Rax, brother. Ride ahead and see if you can flush the boar out. Attila, that boar would have killed me had you not intervened. Pity that none will ever learn of your loyalty. Archers, attack! Oh no, brother, no! Attila, coward, fight and earn your right to rule. It was an ambush! Bleda tried to kill Attila. Bleda is not fit to rule. Right, look at the rule. Let us slay the rest of the traitors. Let's go. Play the traitors. against our blood enemies. Bleda is no more. When Attila returns to camp, he alone will rule the Huns. Some time ago, the Romans captured a number of Han villagers. Bleda arranged for their return, but I did not trust Bleda, and I do not okay. trust the Romans. We should free them. No bargaining. Okay. Right. Let's go here first. Huh? Okay. We raised this Roman camp to the ground. Well, 
Our arrangement was with Bleeder. I will not turn the captives over to Attila. You must take them by force. Wait. I am the son of Lypoxis, a leader amongst my people. If you will free me, you will be rewarded. We are saved. Thanks for rescuing me. We nomads should work together. Perhaps if your leader Attila will visit our village in the west, our people can make an alliance. For now, a truce? Hans more than our gratitude, but we yeah. desperately need horses. If you could supply us with ten yeah. horses, yeah. we will repay our debt of honor. Yeah. Charles Team 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 Team
Sorry, I didn't realize I did that, okay? There's my uh, scout goal. What I should do is get my uh, tray cart going. Charles Sons, 
Should I take these guys or should I go somewhere else? You know? Has a force, you know, so I'm thinking that like, might be able to do this. You know? Hey, meet the roots tree. Hey, hey. I'm thinking we need to get the Romans out first for the Persians. The Persians are really attacking me as much as the uh, Romans are. Meet the roots tree. Thank <laughs> you. 
So anyway, see if I go in the defenses, we get my so uh workers back and right? so, uh, so, uh,
Ki.
Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Só isso aí. Que boa.
барлық жөн Сахар, барлыкчын. Сахар, барлыкчын. Сахар, Тиму. Тиму. Мотчын. Тиму, это очень легче. Сахар, это очень легче. Thank <laughs> you. 
I asked Father Armand more about this legendary Attila the Hun, whom the stories always treat as more of a monster than a man. He was a man, the priest said, but he did not look like the Romans, nor did he worship the Roman god. That was the cause of all that was to follow. Father Armand shivered, as if from the cold breeze that blew in from the chapel's open windows. Kingship among the barbarians, was not by divine right or lineage, but by who had the strongest will. Attila was the strongest of the Huns, and he reinforced his position by brandishing a rusty old blade and proclaiming it to be the Sword of Mars, the old Roman god of war. Attila had a custom of fiercely rolling his eyes, as if he wished to enjoy the terror which he inspired. He had a power over other men, so that many chose to join him. Many foreigners joined his council, Scythians and Burgundians and Goths. Most notable among these was the son of a prominent Roman family, sent as a hostage to ensure peace between Romans and Huns. The name of this boy was Flavius Aetius, a name not soon to be forgotten. Okay, so I am. I think I'm gonna pause the game at this point. And thank you for joining this time around. Uh, hope you got enjoyed this. This Empire Empire Building Two. Does that leave a comment? Or, you know, I think if I put his hosts in YouTube and uh, put a comment in the boxes below you, so there's more more to hear. So, all right, signing off for now. It's, adios. <laughs>